Hello everybody, as I announced on my YouTube channel, I'm starting this week with the reviews on uh, animated Transformers, Takara Tommy, which is here, the guy on the right, and if I have the American version, Hasbro's, here on the left, I'll do a comparing video with the differences and so on and so forth so first of all you're not seeing double and if you are you're probably drunk and it's not my problem so let's start first of all this guy here or these guys are lagnut this is the Takara Tommy lagnut and this is the Hasbro lagnut first of all you can see the big difference here and that's the Decepticon symbol the Japanese one, the Karatomi one. Always go with the show accurate ones, which are the animated symbols, which are purple with the white outling, outlines. Sorry. And the American version, the Hasbro version, has this golden symbol, which is more like the movie symbol and not the animated one. That's the main big difference that you can see right from the start. More differences are the color scheme yes the American version is, is always somewhat uh, a blend color scheme it doesn't have a bright finish it's just purple like his weapon here which is the tail of the plane it's the same purple on his body and the rest of the robot which is just purple nothing special about it it's a nice purple though but it doesn't have a bright finish or a matte finish now if we take the Karatomi version you can see its brightness is shining when the light hits the paint it shines back more than the American version of course the Hasbro version so the first and uh, the second big difference is the color this purple it must it's it is a much nicer color it has a bright finish somewhat metallic even a lot better than the Hasbro version yes and it goes all around his body you can see here one against the other big difference much better so that was the color difference and symbol difference between the two versions of the same character. Now, um, the weapon or the nose or the tail of the plane has no difference at all or almost no difference let's check this out I'll just pull them both so let's take a look the purple is the same purple the, uh, the Karatomi doesn't have any matte finish or shining to it the only difference that I see is with the stripes here the yellow stripes are more of a green, shiny green and on the Hasbro version they are more um, faded than the Japanese version other than that it's the same color and the same plastic and everything else let's transform it back to the tail of the plane and put it to the sides Uh, more differences here um, I believe yes his eyes his eye on the Takara Tommy version his eyes painted a brighter red and it is more noticeable the American version it's not painted at all it's only that red plastic and that's it both of them doesn't have the light piping so it doesn't really matter 
if it uh, if it isn't painted or not just the fact that it's painted it's more visible so that's the robot um, differences for joints in the legs the American version it is a bit looser on the arms they are pretty much the same no differences there so I'll just transform, transform them quickly through their plane modes and we'll be right uh, so right there. I have them both in their plane modes so let's continue with the differences here I set them uh, as the same side they were before the right here is the Takara Tommy version and the left here is the Hasbro version so again right from the start you can see the big difference here for the Decepticon symbols the Takara Tommy version has the more show accurate purple and white outline symbols where the American version Hasbro's version is the gold one just up close and again you can see the shininess of the color here on the right against the not shininess of the color here on the left as for quality control pretty much the same they use the same mold the same plastic because the same uh, problems are with both of them both of them have the cockpits that can't close all the way both of them have the floppiness here on the head part and for some reason both of them have a problem with these parts um, coming off and where the hands are his fingers not closing all the way both of them have that problem but as I said all in all it's a great figure great uh, plane mode again the colors here and the colors here which are less of a finish uh, uh, a metallic finish so for conclusion um, the Japanese version must nicer, uh, must nicer color more show accurate as to quality control pretty much the same the tail like I said it's the same color so there's nothing much to talk about the symbols are different that's the American way against the Japanese way which is more show accurate as I said before uh, what else can I say here this review uh, I made it I made it for the first time in Hebrew like a year ago it was with uh, a very poor quality camera so this is like a, a circle closing here I started with these two figures in the Hebrew reviews and now I'm doing them in the English in English so um, hopefully uh, you will all enjoy them and stay tuned for the next few reviews which are coming on this week hopefully uh, more to come like I said I have um, the American the Hasbro Rodimus Minor against the Japanese one and a few more Takara Tommy animated reviews for you so guys stay tuned Hamakura ISR please comment subscribe and stay with me here have a nice day bye